Alvitra, die Dachmarke. This video shows you how to install the Alvitra vent stack. Prior to installing the thermal insulation, an opening with a diameter of approximately 20 cm must be cut out. The lower part of the vent can now be pulled off the upper part and at the lower side be fitted with a suitable paste-like sealant or a suitable sealing tape and then fastened with screws. Alternatively, it is possible to fix the lower part directly on the vapor control layer with screws without any additional sealing measures. In this case, however, the vapor control layer needs to be connected in an airtight flashing. Then the thermal insulation and the waterproofing membranes are installed, with a corresponding opening for the vent needs to be cut out directly above the installed lower vent part. The vent is designed for DN125, however a reducer to DN100 is included, a reducer to DN70 is separately available. The included supporting ring is centered out on the cutout and fastened with suitable screws in the supporting structure. The upper vent part is now inserted into the lower part through the insulation opening. Airtight connection between the lower and upper vent part is achieved automatically. The Avalon or Everlastic connecting flange fitted to the upper part can now be directly welded to the waterproofing membrane. Our professional advice. First weld lines to all four sides, starting from the center, then seal weld the areas in between without faults. Finally put into place the vent coal and optional weather cap 